My hair is actually yellow today. She used sun in. No, it's because it's it's supposed to be toned like to a nice grayish tone, so that way the yellow brassiness comes out of it. Wait, gray? So when you're you... going for gray, that usually people try and get rid of the no. gray. Hi, this is cut to oh. Corinne. You know we never do an intro. It's to the point now where, like, every time I edit it, I'm like, "Wow, this doesn't sound like a real podcast." When do we start? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's bad because I went on YouTube and I was like. How to make a good podcast. Never do that, by the way. Yeah. Because it's never it's never a good <laughs> idea. Because the people that are on there are like old men. And they're like, these are the best intros for podcasts. And let me tell you, they're the, the cheesiest things. And they all sound like NPR, too. They do. And they're like, <laughs> they're like, and so you need to intro your show. And you need to explain who the guest is. And the guest. I don't think that's how they sound. You're listening to Rex Bendo on Classical AM 1560. Yeah. But it's more it's like... It's like they read a textbook on how to sound radio-y, and they went with it. They went, like, with a pukey, like... Okay, though. <laughs> so is that our intro? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's up? It's your girl, Corinne, the Cut to Corinne podcast. I have Josh Dolan here today. See? I, it? That sounds so not cool. It just It's too professional for us. At least. I think it's loosey, loser. Loosey. It's stupid in general. I'm not a it's fan. Just, yeah, no. Let's just, we, we. And Joe Rogan doesn't do it. No, he doesn't. Nobody does it. Not in Podcastville. Oh, no, they do. I listen. <laughs> like, there's like, <laughs> no, there's like people. I want to sit closer. All right. <laughs> do you want to get on the table? <laughs> See, this like is the show right where right. we make adjustments during the show. <laughs> And we've done it several times. Okay, so, hi. I don't know. The intro shit sucks. I think, just don't overthink it. Let's, let's, let's try a couple out. Okay. All right. So, I actually produced one. And when I say produced, I mean, I asked people to say, like, hey, I love Corinne. (laughs) Pull back the curtain, why don't you? No, they just sent it to you. And they're like, hey, here's some audio of me saying, I love you. (laughs) So, yeah, it's it's uh, it's horrible. We'll cut to it now. Get it? Who the f*** is Corinne? Wait, I have listeners? This is real? God, yeah. Cut to Corinne. I just speak the truth. What would you want me to say? Well, I would have preferred that you said nothing at all. It doesn't even sound like English. Cut to Corinne. Do not be ratchet. I think. You're hilarious. <laughs> it's got to Corinne. I don't even know what that means. Why it, do we need Okay, so it's too long, again? first of all. Second of all, it's horribly produced. Third of all, I don't know if the music is not, co- I don't know if it's not copyright. Copyrighted, copyright, copy it. It's do you know a- where you got it from? YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If, if, Somebody complains about it, then you're doing something right. By the way, this is this is the PJ podcast today too. I'm in my pajamas. Should I have worn my PJs? No, you look good. I just don't care. But you, but evidently you wear a backwards hat too much. Uh, Wasn't that a thing? Yeah, I've been trying to wear my hat less, and it hasn't been working. <laughs> oh, I like the hat. What's wrong with the hat? Because yeah, I'm trying to wear it less because. My wife said that I wear it a little too much, and she wants to see my hair. And it's been about a year where I wear it every single day. I've never not seen you with a hat. Yeah. Only and time I've seen you is, like, in your wedding photos. And that's the scary part, is that someone that I know didn't recognize me when I wasn't wearing a hat. Yeah, you don't look the same. Like, take it off. I don't. Take it off. Take it off. I don't know if the people are ready for this forehead, but... What's wrong with your forehead? People always said I had a huge forehead in school. And you know what? Those those things stick with you. And I ju- all I, I can see is a drive-in movie theater screen when I look at myself in the camera. We have the same size forehead, dude. No, we don't. It's literally the same size. You let's just, let's have just, the people vote on the forehead. It's because of the dent of your hair. So if you put it... Okay, now you look very seen. You look like... What's seen? Seen? Like emo? Yeah. My girlfriend hates me, and I fucking hate you. On a Friday night. They all there sound like you that. go. <laughs> <laughs> guys want to go to Warp Tour? <laughs> hey, don't wait on. I went to Mayhem Fest one time. What's that? I don't want to talk about it. Nobody cares. Oh, show. something happened. No. Did you pee your pants at that concert, too? I almost died at a mosh in a mosh pit. I don't understand those. Like, you go to a concert to watch 
the the band. No, I go to like feel the music. Feel the. <laughs> I don't go to the same concerts. I guess. I don't know. I've always wanted to go into a mosh pit, but like. I don't because I don't want to get hurt. So I like EDM they, music. So that way everybody's in a circle dancing and feeling the music, but not hitting each other. Does that make sense? They're feeling each other because everybody's rolling. I've done that a couple times. I'd be interested too. <laughs> no, one time it was a horrible experience. This is prior to being a mom, by the way. So don't judge Every me. Every mom understands. They've all had a, a wild time. I'm almost 30 years old, okay? I, I lived out my 20s. <laughs> I, I didn't. You didn't? You never rolled? I'm going to have a wild 30s. You no, know, I, I have didn't. kids. You might as well. But no, I don't recommend it because you shit yourself if you get bad stuff. Like, the first time it's I like ever coffee. did it. No. Well, yeah, I have to poop <laughs> right now. Bad. But we're going to let that go. I didn't take any ecstasy. It's just. <laughs> no, the first time I ever took it was at a festival. And it was the best experience in my entire life. Loved it. But the next day, I was miserable because it. Yeah, you get super sad for like 24 yeah, hours, right? Yeah, yeah. But the second time I took it, it was in New York again. It's always in New York. Um, New York City is just full of drugs. Um, so I went there, and I did it. And it w- must have been a bad batch or something. Or fake. He was like, oh, it's pure. No, it was my friend that had it, or like my friend's friend. And it looked like good stuff, because you can tell if it's bad or good. How? Um, the label says good. No, I just don't want to get into this drug talk because I don't want people thinking I take drugs and I know all about drugs, but drugs fascinate me. So, like, I used to, like, look that shit up and, like, know whether it was good or bad and, like, what was... Because I was, like, te- terrified to do drugs. I didn't take any drugs forever. Like, it took me... I knew a lot of people did drugs, like, when they were, like, 18, 19, 21-ish. I waited till I was, like, like right before I had my kid. So that's probably why I had my kid because I was always partying doing crazy things i never did anything either and i i was like the one of my friends to like never even drink and now now i drink but you know i'm just a late bloomer yeah well that's not a bad thing you shouldn't do drugs drugs are bad for you okay don't do drugs i don't want to die and not know what ecstasy feels like or doesn't feel like it honestly just feels like you're just on a cloud and you're super happy Like, I would never do, like, hallucinogenics. Like, I would never take uh, acid. Yeah, I don't want to go somewhere else. Also, especially that it makes, like, your brain bleed or something. What? What? Doesn't acid or, like, mushrooms make your brain bleed and it bleeds down your spine? That's why you trip. And then, like, ten years later, if you crack your back, you can trip again. That's a thing, I think. Well, my dad's fine. (laughs) Does he crack his back? (laughs) I'm just kidding. I don't know what he's Go done. to a chiropractor. But I can only he might, imagine. He might see some things. Sure. How, how do you not get kicked out of poop. all these? Uh, I have to poop. I have to fucking poop. <laughs> We're going to hit the pause button. Five hours later. <laughs> is this staying in? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the thing is, is like, you're married. Yeah. So, like, I feel comfortable talking about this stuff with you because, like, you deal with, like, you know, when you're married, you just don't care, right? Yeah. Um, that's. I know, like, some people who, like, don't poop in, like, the same house as, like, their people. Yeah, that was a thing for a long time. Like, I w- why? Well, I did why it like you? when I first started dating people. Like, but after a while, you just get used to it. Did you like go to a Starbucks or something to poop, or like? I don't know. I think like once we we moved in together, it was like, all right, this this isn't weird anymore. But like, have you ever pooped with the door open? No. Good. I'm proud. Even when I'm home alone. Ryan used to. My ex boyfriend used to do that all the time. He used to just poop with the door open. <laughs> Why would the, uh, it why would smell open? so bad? Oh my god! I feel like I smell. You don't. Did I poop my pants? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not at a concert, so I don't think so. Okay, can we get off that subject now? Because I really don't want to talk about ecstasy anymore. Because obviously, it makes me poop. Just don't take it. Don't ever take it. Yeah, that's probably why I still have never done any drugs. I've never smoked weed. I don't get any, I don't get anything out of it. So I, I would take like gummies or whatever that feels good because it gives you like a body high. Yeah, I I'm, do meth. I'm kidding. I don't. Technically, you do. <laughs> I guess. Technically, <laughs> no, because I researched the hell no, out of is. Adderall, and Adderall is literally one chemical. What is it? It's like, like a controlled amount of meth. No, it's. I looked it up. It's like a. Um, it's like one molecule away from being meth. If it were, I don't to, even know what that means. So a molecule. 
I'll put it up on the screen. So All right. Get and it. here's science. <laughs> <laughs> Methamphetamine was developed in Japan in 1919, and its cousin, amphetamine, was created in Germany in 1887. Their chemical structures are similar, although the effects of methamphetamine are stronger. You never seen it on Netflix? Netflix had like a whole series on Adderall. You never saw it? No. It's not like a glass of wine or a joint or any way that people use to decompress. I really see it as a supplement, as a tool. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So then you're primed that a pill is going to give me what I want. We look too close. This is not a good setup. I... The setup is horrible. The setup is fine. No. We've done two episodes. Nobody watches. What are you doing? Let's just do the podcast in here. You know, there's like props. Do it from a kid's room. We had one episode, which I totally, the only reason why people watch is because it says starting a podcast. So people thought that it was a how-to video. That should be the. So from here on out, we should just like make fake captions for my, my podcast. This one is. How to set up a refrigerator. Refrigerator. Nobody's Googling. <laughs> Gotta come up with how to. No, people like actually look up this dad on YouTube. He like teaches young kids how to fix everything. So in any case, like they don't want to call their dad. It's hilarious. Hey kids, so mom calls me and says, honey, the van won't start. Do you think you can jump it? And I thought, well, I think if I had a running start, I could probably get over the car, but I don't think I can get over the van. <laughs> Have we started? <laughs> We've been trying to do an intro for about an hour now. I give up. I really do. It's hot as balls in here too, isn't it? It is. Okay, I'll put the hey, AC on. It's not as hot as my apartment because our AC broke, so I just haven't been wearing clothes for about three days. That's poor people problems. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. I live in my parents' basement. <laughs> What's good, bro? My name's Kanye West, and I'm running 2020. Is that going to get us canceled? <laughs> <laughs> now, why is he running? I don't know. Maybe to get some exercise. That was a good uh, dad joke right wow. there. Go get your dad hat. Dad. Oh, man. No, so there's conspiracy theory. So if you don't know, you know. I know you know. Kanye West is, is pretending or really running for president this year Everyone for Everyone thought Donald Trump was pretending, too. That's terrific. Kanye would never become president. I'm sorry. It's just Why? not a thing. If Jay-Z wanted to become, or Will Smith, or The Rock. Oh, Will yes. Smith. My God. They would. Man. Okay. He's so inspirational on Instagram. We have so much to talk about, though, with Will Smith, though, too, though. So let's get to that. Hold on, hold on. We got to wait. Oh, God. Now we're on a roll. Here we go. All right. Kanye running against his boy, Donnie T. I don't want to brag, but I have, really have a high IQ. I'm a stable genius. I got a big brain, and I got the best words. <laughs> oh, my God. He's black me. Jesus walks. No. That's not from College Dropout. No. Jesus walks with me, with me, with me. That's going to be his intro when he goes to his rallies. Yeah, so he's running, but the, the conspiracy <laughs> theory is he's coming out with a album. Called President 2020. Oh, that would be good. Um, maybe he'll rap about all of the... All of the lights. <laughs> I'm not voting for him, so... <laughs> I mean, Has people have put uh, in Tom Brady before. Like, people r wrote in stuff before. I mean, yeah, people write in ridiculous stuff. Yeah, but, so. I mean, in the, in this state, oh, well. Gronkowski. We're in a, a different state. We're in Rhode Island right now. But in my state. Of Massachusetts. My vote doesn't matter, no matter what. It really does, though. I'm obsessed with that whole thing. Like, I purposely, well, not purposely, it doesn't make any sense. I, like, literally love knowing that I'm against the grain. But you vote for somebody to vote for president, but then if the person, I don't know. There's I don't still know how such thing as a popular vote. I'm not going to pretend to know how it works. Oh, you don't understand the Electoral College? Or no, and like? then dead people vote, and I know. it's, it, we're, it's not a, no, we're not doing politics today. We were just going to talk about Kanye. Oh, but uh, he's being political. Let him. He's always political. His own wife wants to be a lawyer or is a lawyer now. Let it happen. Oh, God. Is I she... love Kim. You know Kim, though, on the side. It's just like, you know, yay. I just really wanted you to know I support you, but... Do you think she really talks like that? What if all those voices were just fake? Really? I. This is not really even Kim's voice. This is more of like a Kim... This is like um, 
a Courtney voice. I know, those boundaries are wild. Oh, hi. Hi, Gorge. Courtney. Oh, she's exciting. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Yeah. Could you imagine Kim K being the first lady? Can you imagine if Caitlyn Jenner won? What does that even mean? Bruce. So what if she? What if they won? What if? So you wouldn't won. know which it is. Yeah. Yes, you would because you're identified as a woman. Don't get me wait, fucking wait, get... canceled on this shit, bro. <laughs> All right, Don't let's fucking move on get me Kanye. canceled. I like me some Caitlyn. She can golf. She can. She can do all types of mountain biking. All of that stuff. <laughs> she, golf. She surfs. She's a mountain biker. Does she even golf? Yeah, she does. Great runner, too. <laughs> Before Caitlyn, there was Bruce, and Bruce did all those things, so Caitlyn can, too. Now, does Caitlyn get Bruce's medals? I'm not doing this today. It's an, It's a... Okay. So, Willa Smith. Nope. <laughs> okay, Will Smith. Take two. <laughs> Will Smith. The Fresh Prince. Of Bel Air. You totally want to dance to that song right now, don't you? I was going to sing it, but then I realized I forgot the words. <laughs> Me too, and I was going to go, da 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 <laughs> It's the motherfucking D-O-double-G Snoop Dogg, which is not the right thing. <laughs> is that so, the right one? No. I'm not sure. Anyway, Uncle Phil's nephew. <laughs> <laughs> he and Jada Smith have an open relationship, I guess, and this all came out. We going to chat about it. Okay. We've known about this for so long. No, I, I did know. not know this. I had no idea. So Jada Pickett. Pickett. Pickett Fence Smith. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say her middle thing name. Nobody does. I don't know if it's her middle name or. Oh, no, it's her maiden. Maiden name. Her maiden. Is it hyphened? I don't know. I don't follow like this. I only know her red table talk that's on Facebook. Mrs. Smith. So they do red table talk, and I love it because it's like a therapy session type thing, and it's a red table, and she has her mom with her, <laughs> and her daughter Willow, right? Will Willow Willow Willow, and they talk about like therapy stuff. So like whatever the celebrities on, they'll talk about whatever was going on. Like it's fun. I like watching it every every Friday on Facebook. Moving on. So it's like family meeting time on Facebook. It's dope. No, I love it because they're open and honest about everything. So, like, it's there's no holding back. And there's no, like, you know, oh, you think this way, you're a horrible person. It's just more like conversation and, like, open-mindedness. Open-mindedness. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, they say, Will and Jada, that they have a, what is it called? Open marriage? No. <laughs> they're life partners, which I love. That's an annoying... Why is it annoying? I don't like. Why do we care? Like, because just live your life. You don't need to be shoving it in our face all the time. Like, we, I, I feel like we've known this for a long time, and they always talk about it. Oh, well, I didn't know. I just, I just found out on the news. Like, I feel like a lot of people are like that, and like. Well, yeah, and I don't like the word marriage. Honestly, I really don't. Like, I say it because I'm like, oh, I want to get married. No, woe's me. I'm thirsty as ho. But like. Yeah, drink that water, thirsty. Okay. So, but, so, like, I always say, like, I want to get married, but I really want a life partner because I feel like marriage always ends in divorce nowadays. So, like, a life partner, you know. Could end up in a breakup. It's, it, what, no. Why does it matter what you call it? They just want to bang other people. You know what? Do you, boo-boo. I'm not for it, but, I mean, if that's the, uh, that's their thing. So, what I'm getting at with that, though, is that Jada, don't want to say her whole name because I can't figure it out. Jada Pickett. Smith or whatever it is. <laughs> Jada evidently got with August Alsina, who's a big rapper. You have no idea who this is. No, because he's not a big rapper. Nobody knows who he is. I love August. Don't even talk about that like that. I love August too, but the month. What like what? He was on with Angela Yee from the Breakfast Club and he was it was an interview and he had said a couple things. <laughs> he did it with Jada. And how about Will? I guess Will spoke to him about it and like gave him the okay. I actually sat down with Will and had a conversation. He gave me his blessing. Oh, not like a, hey, knock it off. No, he was okay with it. He, like he oh, gave he... him like the thumbs up to do it, which is crazy to me. Will's too busy on YouTube. He don't care about that. <laughs> so, so Will is one of those guys that likes to hear about it or like watch or something. I don't know. I don't think that's what happened. But we're going to find out this Friday on Red Table Talk. I'm wicked pumped about Are it. Are we? Yeah, she tweeted that she has some things to talk about. 
Is Will going to be on? Has Will ever been on? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Talk to me like that. Uh-huh. We can't be together. Wow. We're not going to use any profanity right. in our interactions. We're not going to raise our voice. We're not going to be violent. I can't do it. It was actually, I love when Will's on. I love them too. I really do. I don't I don't agree with an open marriage thing for myself. Other people don't give but a shit. But then why, why, why does it matter what you call it then? Like if you're like a life partner or you're married. Why like, does it matter to you? <clears throat> why does it bother you? I just don't, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, exactly. So don't fucking care. <laughs> I don't care. That's why I'm saying why, like, well, why does it matter what you call it? Well, because that's what they want to call it. So like let them call it that. Uh, okay. Yo, you got some issues. Get a tissue. How do I... <laughs> Bro, all confused about Caitlyn Jenner playing golf, and now you upset about this. I was just asking. Yeah, if... you're offensive. How is that offensive? Does she get to keep the medals or not? Bruce did all the work. <laughs> Technically, there was always a Caitlyn inside. Okay, what else is going on today? I don't know. <laughs> I was going to ask you... We had a bunch of... Uh... Oh, I look like a leopard. <laughs> huh? <laughs> no. The self tanner. Okay, I use Jergens, the cheap shit, and my mom's like, Karen, don't use that. It's so gross. Like it's so cheapy." She buys this shit on HSN. She swears by it. This other crap. It's fake tanner stuff. Yeah, I put it on, and literally, I had spots. You know, it's summertime. You can just go outside. Full blown Irish, bro. I don't tan. I I get red. I I got a little bit of Portuguese in me, and thankfully, I got the Portuguese skin. So I just oh. turned. Let's just say by the end of the summer, please start treating me a little differently. Sorry. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> so this is cut to Corinne. I'm telling you, I got man. Canceled. He is canceled. <laughs> what else is going on in the news today? Yo. Oh, God. Here we go. I haven't used hand sanitizer in three weeks after I go places out and about, and I think I'm going to catch coronavirus, and it's literally, like, my biggest fear right now. You're building your immune system. I think using hand... I I don't like using hand sanitizer either because it just weakens your immune system. No, I love it. get everything in. I just can't find it anywhere. Like, I find it, but it's not the good stuff. It's, like, the shit that smells. It's homemade. Nobody yeah, likes. no, the uh, the the brand name, the top shelf hand sani is all gone. Yeah, it's all gone, and I can't find. Now it it's just bad vodka and tequila mixed with gel. By the way, what'd you drink? All oh, those disgusting looking cans. Oh my god, it's called Cut Water. Cut Water, yeah. Cut they water. should sponsor Cut to Corinne. Cut Water. I tag them. <laughs> call them. <laughs> oh, how do I call them? I'm sure they have a phone number on their website. Or on the can. Oh, is that how you do it? Is that how you get sponsors? I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Well, we'll 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 call them. I had it and it was amazing. So I went to the the liquor store, and I what was, was looking, that accent. You from New York? I went to the liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed it too, and I was like pausing. I was like, ew, that was nasty. Maybe so, you won't notice. <sighs> so I went to the liquor store and I wanted to get Skinny Girl Margarita. You ever had that? Nope. Sure have So haven't. good. They got rid of it, and they put cut water there instead, so I'm sure that's good for cut water. I hope it's called cut water, by the way. This is like the stop and shop of liquor stores. Look, they have rum and cola. Let's go meal Bloody Mary's. All disgusting, except vodka for the vodka soda. soda. Why is it disgusting? Zero carbs, premium vodka. I want to know how many sugars are in these, because it doesn't say. doesn't matter. I was just curious. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> buying in bulk. Did you hear Kanye West is running for president now? Huh? Kanye West, he's running for president. You know who that is? Yep. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate my life. <laughs> oh, oh, God. That, yeah, it, it goes down. <laughs> Get this guy. What? Yeah, let's go. I got a yes. <laughs> so you drink two, you get sloshed. It's twelve point five percent alcohol in one little can. Twelve point five. Now, is it like a? It's two shots of tequila, so you can get multiple different kinds. So, like, I got margarita. You can get Moscow Mule. You can get like any and a kind. Can doesn't sound appetizing. It doesn't, but you chill it with ice. Oh my god, it's so good. 
It's so good, dude. I was like, this is like the best. It was so good. And I only had to drink two and I got shit faced. And they come in a four pack. Is that when you were FaceTiming me at like midnight and you're like, answer the phone? Yeah, I wanted to talk politics with you for a long time. <laughs> Sad part is, like, I'm sure Laura's like, why is this bitch calling my husband at 12 o'clock? And the sad part is, it's not for anything other than politics. <laughs> it's Did literally, you see what Trump said? It's literally nothing bad. Like, who are you talking to? It's Jake from State Farm. It's Corinne. She wants to talk about Trump. <laughs> like, that's my life. It's but so bad. the thing is, is Laura understands and she knows that. <laughs> Oh, I can't do it. I actually like I purpose like I hate bitches that do that. Like if I was Laura, I would hate me. Like dead ass. Like if I was your wife, I would hate me. I don't uh, like I don't I I get the whole friends like we're friends. Yeah. But like I think it's so inappropriate to call a, a guy that's in a relationship or married at that those hours of the night. Like I regret calling you. But I think it, at it's those times. different because you know Laura and Laura knows you and we know each other and i guess that, like laura's like, not insecure like i would and be neither insecure. am i like if she wanted to hang out with some, like i know she's not gonna do anything yeah i know but like i'm so insecure like that's something i need to work on so maybe like looking at you and lauren like learning from that maybe that's why we're hanging out maybe maybe the whole point in you and i hanging out is so i can see the like healthy relationships the other side i used to be exactly like that but it was because the other people i was dating were people Cheaters? I couldn't I couldn't trust them. Oh, it sucks. Yeah. No, I've been cheated on almost every single relationship, actually. Really? Yeah, except my last. Yeah. I hope I didn't get cheated on my last. I think the whole point of this conversation was to say that I was put, y'all were put into my life so I could learn what a good relationship is. I don't know what that was, but you're saying if I answer it, you're just going to be mad that I answered it. Why are you answering a call from another woman? You're married. Oh, God, I hate that shit. I would I would hate me if I was her. I would just be like, but also Laura is the most chillest human being. Yeah, no, she she's very like focused on her schedule and like grocery shopping and like oh I need to God, do this. And... I need to be with somebody like that. Can I have your wife? <laughs> I <laughs> She can do both our schedules. <laughs> oh, that's one thing I'm like trying to figure out with like my next. I mean, I'm not looking for anybody right now because I need to focus on myself and my kids. But at the same time, though, like if I'm going to talk to anybody or be with anybody, they like better not be calling anybody. Well, that and then also, no, it's I need to make sure I'm dating a mature. Well, I was dating a mature person and I totally fucked that up. Um, What's next? I just need to not fuck up the next relationship and now not what, be insecure. How, how did you fuck it up? By being crazy about that kind of stuff? Like, why are you following this person? Or do you get, like, mad if somebody likes a picture of, like, somebody they went to high school with and you're like... Well, no. Well, yes, all the above. What am I trying to ask? No. Was I a crazy girlfriend? Yes, yeah. I was. Oh. Okay. But no, I, I was horrible. I was such a bad girlfriend. I didn't realize it until now. Like, it took him leaving me to recognize all of my bad, my faults. Like, forever, I would always turn it back to him and say, oh, no, but you did it this, and that's what caused me to be a bitch. Or this is what caused me to have these problems. But really, it was just piss poor communication between both of us, and I lashed out where I should just had a conversation with him instead of being... Um, just a horrible person. You know what I do, which really works? I just push it all down. That's what he does, though. That's bad. You don't do that. Just You're push supposed it. I'm Irish, so I just push it all down. He is, too. And then, and then somebody is just going to catch these hands. Yeah. These hands. I'm going to lash out on the wrong person one day. <laughs> Everyone needs some growing. We do. We're all plants. We're Rooted. all Will Smith. In Inside, we're all Will Smith. And Will Smith is inside all of you because they're in an open partnership LLC. What else do you want to talk about? <laughs> 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 all right, that topic, check that one off. Oh, you know what's crazy right now is the fact that I am on unemployment and I almost want to wait to get a job till after that's over. A lot of people are doing that. Oh, yes, because my wife, where she works right now. My wife. She, you do that every time. Because <laughs> my old friend used to do that. You're time. stuck in 2006. This AC feels amazing right now. Moving on. You can feel the AC. 
I forget I what that feels feel like. I coming in the air tonight. But unemployment, I mean, it it is fun to get free money when you're not doing anything, but this whole coronavirus thing and, like, the extra $600 that they're giving everybody is just making everybody not want to go back to work. And where my wife works, all the employees... My boobs are sweating, sorry. Are, are <clears throat> I hate boob sweat. It's the worst sweat ever. Is it? Uh, yeah. You keep doing this to your forehead, and the microphone is on your forehead. Oh, is go it up really? To the micro- Did, the see, microphone. Oh my God, go go up the to the microphone. My, the, I'm self Go up to the camera. I don't see it. Oh, yeah, I do. Perfect circle. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no one wants to go back to work. Yeah, and like my wife is not able to. She she didn't get the time off because she basically like runs the place. Yeah. And now everybody else is like, well, it's hard to say what she does without saying it but okay so she works somewhere and people don't want to come back to work until after their unemployment is over so she's stuck by herself because people don't want to go back to work how simple was that it was pretty simple yeah didn't have to say where she worked nope not even a little bit moving on that's why there's such thing as essential workers that's why i feel like anybody who did work during the pandemic was essential to me and they should have got extra pay do you know what i'm saying yeah like stop and shop i know they had like Hazard pay or something, which just stopped. Oh, my God. Can we just talk about something real fast? Uh Uh-huh. At Ocean State Job Lot, they were doing this thing where you could give, like, uh, I don't know if it was, like, a dollar or a quarter or something extra when you purchased your, your, when you were done. You could add a dollar or add something to your purchase, and that dollar would go towards the employee employees so that way they get essential pay sure it did so my mom they asked her like okay do you want to do this today she's like no (laughs) i was like that's horrible but she made a good point that the owner should just be paying them more money i know like don't ocean state job lot like come on it's like the biggest place they they, it's like some small business like not coffee shop you know what i mean they're it's like duncan saying like oh Put an extra dollar towards this to help our employees. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, no, just fucking pay them. I mean, uh, I, I feel like this whole thing has really shown certain companies true colors. Like, the Bruins, I was so disappointed in. Like, I'm a huge Bruins fan, but when they were like, no, we're not going to pay the part-time people for their time off, and, like, you guys just got to deal with it. Yeah. Like, all the garden workers, because the Bruins own, the, the company owns the garden. Yeah. Like, they just laid everybody off and was just like, but other teams were like, we're going to all pitch in and pay you guys what you would have made. Also, But I also don't donate because I don't know where that money's going. And also, I just hate spending money and I don't want to add 50 cents. I donate to people. Actual. Like if I'm going to give money, I usually give like valuables. Like I'll give like whether that be like... Uh gift like in a sense of like clothes or food or things of that nature because i know that's going to be used i'm not a big thing into like money like if i see uh, someone outside like asking for change or something i'll ask them well not every person because i can't say that every time because there's a lot of them around here (laughs) which is sad but i know a lot of them just want ciggies and beer so um i would just be like here here's like if it's raining out i'll give them an umbrella does that sound messed up how many umbrellas do you have that you're just giving away umbrellas I don't like giving my money because I feel like the money you never know where it's actually going to go. Yeah, unless and it's a small. It's also non-profit. weird that profit nonprofits have like full time employees, and I'm like, well, then how are you getting paid? Well, a lot of it's activism. So like sometimes they, you know, they need to pay those people to work to to get their message out. I've just worked with a few charities or, or like been involved with a few of them, and just seeing like where the money goes and like how much actually is done for the cause. I'm like, I don't. So what's the outro? The outro. Thank you for tuning in to Cut to Corinne podcast. For more, you can uh, listen Donate. every week. Mondays, just kidding, it's never on time. But whenever I fucking put it on. When is the a, schedule? She, it's supposed to be Mondays and Thursdays, but it never ends up being that way. So, so you, you said I'm hurting the ratings. So sh- I, is, am I on next time or what? <laughs>